All right, boys, it's another early day at Elevated AF, and uh, we're about to become any level central today. So we've got this any level here. It's probably one of my more favorite ones we built. And then we've got our second one here. Now, it does look different from when you guys seen it last because we did a front clip swap and we painted it different colors to kind of match a couple other trucks we've done. By the way, big shout out to BuckFS and FT Modding for these. But even though the any levels are not the main focus of today's video and uh, we may be building another one today, I need to pick up a new tow rig for Chris. So Chris has been going to these mud bogs recently and uh, this is his mud bog truck and he needs a new tow rig because this thing ain't cutting it and uh, we might have a possible buyer for it today so we got to get it off of there. But we're going to hop in the tow rig here and uh, see if we can grab another truck. By the way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton and I appreciate it so much. And while you're down there, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and helps me make videos just like this. So if you want to see more, no. The button's down there. That's right, boys. I bought myself a Chevy. I can't remember the last time I actually bought a Chevy to work on at our shop. Usually it's Fords and Dodges, but uh, today is a little different. This is a Chevy 3500. Dually, of course, but uh, it ain't gonna stay like this. We got some bigger plans for it. All right, guys should be in the shop this morning. I grabbed them some donuts and coffee, so that'll make them real happy. However, they're not going to be too happy when they find out they got to work on another dually. All right, so this thing is on some American forces right now. It is uh, tuned and deleted, which is fairly nice. And it's got a little bit of lift on it. Now, I think we're going to keep the lift, but the plan is, is to make this a kind of mini version of our SEMA tow rig. So, of course, we're going to be going with one of my all-time favorite dually rims, the JTX Forged. And I can't remember the exact model of the rim, but I'm sure it'll come to me eventually. Now, Chris doesn't even know that this is his truck yet. He just thinks this is another build we're going to be doing, but we're actually picking up another build for the shop in a little bit. It's going to be a busy week here. Everybody got back from their Memorial Day weekend activities, so it's back to work. And that'll do. So a lot of you guys have been asking me recently to get my real life truck here at Elevated AF, and I have finally done that. So for those of you curious what my real life truck looks like, it's pretty much like this. And hey, now we got it at Elevated AF. I think it's slightly taller in real life, though. I don't think this is... This is quite perfect, but it's very dang close. And look, we even got the little grill lights. Oh, Chris just texted me. Said that dude's here for the uh, Chevy. Sorry, sorry, the GMC. I know I always get them mixed up. So this thing right here is kind of like the fastest truck I've ever built. Now, I already have some leads on another four-door. So don't worry. We'll be getting fast trucks back again at Elevated AF. Ooh, he's got a third-gen dually. You do not see those around here very often. We'll let him take it out for a spin and see what he thinks of it. Well, it got sold. Man, I love this truck. But hey, bigger and better things. The next truck is definitely going to be a heck of a lot faster than that thing. And that thing is fast. All right, with that all out of the way here, I can finally go pick up our second truck of the day. Man, it, it just never stops around here. Anyway, the truck we're going to pick up, I actually sold quite a while ago. We did a couple things to it at the shop. It was our six-door OBS Ford. Now, Chris, my main shop guy, he absolutely loved that truck, and uh, I was able to track down the owner again. He wasn't too hard to find because he lives right over up on that hill there. So we're going to go see if we can buy it from him again, and uh, we got a couple plans for that thing. This should be the address here. Yep, there it is. The six-door OBS. I can't believe... It's still in such good condition. Oh, I miss this thing. I, want, I definitely need to buy this thing back now. I don't think there's any need for a test drive. The guy said he literally didn't drive it much. It was more just for a show truck. But uh, I think by the time we're going to be done with this, if we end up buying it back, it's going to be, well, even more of a show truck, if I can say that. I, I don't know. It's, it's going to be nuts. Well, deal was made. And I actually had to pay a heck of a lot more for this than when I sold it because truck prices have went up crazy amounts. So yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but... I'm pretty happy we got this thing back. Is it even going to fit on here? Maybe. Maybe not. Well, barely does. I need to get a bigger trailer if this is, uh, this is the trend we're going to be following. Keep getting bigger and bigger trucks. Chris is going to flip when he sees this thing again. All right, let's check on this thing. Hold up. This does look really good, but uh, where's my JTX rims? TISs. I don't remember going with these, but they, oh, does it ever look good? They got rid of all the chrome too. They put the grill, we weren't even planning to do the grill guard. I think that we just had this laying around the shop. Oh, does that look good? Cause I'm not a big fan of the Chevy front ends, at least the new ones. I don't know where we had these white TIS rims sitting around, but okay. We may just have to keep this setup going. It's not done yet. The guys said they're still working on the wrap and stuff. So that's going to be getting done. It's going to be the first truck 
that's gonna have our new wrap style on it well it's not gonna be our wrap style it's a design we got but it's gonna be the first truck with a full wrap on it a graphic wrap at least confusing i know but chris is actually on lunch break right now so he's not even around here anyway we're gonna get the uh oh why is that shut again come on now open up there we go we're gonna get the sixth door in the shop there and when he comes back for lunch He's going to see this thing sitting there and uh, parts are almost here for it. So it'll be done by the end of the week, hopefully. There we go. Perfect. So while those trucks are getting worked on here, I need to get rid of some stuff. We're not going to get rid of any of the any levels just yet. This is Chris's truck. This is a shop truck and this is a shop truck. I think we're going to get rid of the rollback or the flatbed here because we just I thought we were going to use it, but we really don't. So I think we're going to get rid of that. For trucks, we're going to get rid of the GMC. I've got a buyer interested in it, so I think he's going to take it. So we're going to get this out of the showroom, and uh, he's going to come look at it later this week. I got to get it cleaned up, though. And then my favorite truck, one of my favorite trucks, at least, that we've ever done here, the F-350. This thing's going to be getting a brand new coat of paint, and it's going to be looking a little different. And then this F-350, we have a dude coming to look at it, so couple things gonna be out of here pretty soon but in the meantime this is actually gonna go on the front stand here now i do know a lot of you guys love these trucks but it's time to change it up we can't keep the same inventory and we've got lots of new stuff to come so we got to get rid of some stuff sometime the come and swap jeep though that's sitting in the front there that is mine it will stay there until I decide to sell it. Well, boys, it's been about a week here. Today is getting another busy day. This board right here is hopefully getting sold. The guy's just checking it out right now. He's got his truck and trailer there, so hopefully he's going to take it. We've got a big semi with a uh, big tractor trailer there. He's loading up this SEMA truck, and then he's also going to take our flatbed truck here. So a lot of stuff is going today, and the trucks in the shop are almost done, so we'll be checking those out in just a little bit. All right, three vehicles ready to be gone. I don't think I've sold this many in one day since the uh, the FS19 days. It's been a while, but lots more money in my pocket for future projects, though. Well, let's check out what the boys have been up to all dang week. I think we got to check out the Chevy first, and that wrap came out amazing look at that i don't think i could ask for better this is nuts i think chris is gonna like this as his uh new little tow rig for his mud truck to be honest this could probably be the mud truck <laughs> it's got some uh some real meaty tires on it but we'll check this out a little more in a second the uh the six door ford the obs these are actually where the uh jtx forged rims went they were supposed to go on that truck they went on this truck. And you might say, Austin, this this thing is pretty low, you know? It's weird, low and wide. No, no, no. Fire it up here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> this thing is nuts. So this is what I was talking about when I said we're now any level central. Because now we got three of these suckers. And we're probably going to get more eventually. This is why I wanted to get rid of so many of the older trucks. Is because we're always bringing in newer ones. And I needed to make some room for this thing. Now, this won't fit on any of the displays. So it's going in the showroom. Maybe I should take it for a drive first. Oh, I like the lights they put in there. And we did change the uh, gunmetal on the black to a more blackish gloss sort of type paint. I like it just a little bit better. And this thing cruises too. I think it's going to fit uh, well into the show roster that we have getting built up here. There's actually a big truck show coming up here, and I think we're going to be taking pretty much everything. That's also why I built a second tow rig, because we're going to need it. So this sucker is going right into the showroom. Oh, you know what? I got an idea here real quick. I think someone might have skipped leg day a little bit. May have to get some slightly bigger tires going on this thing. Check it out. Matching brand new power strokes. One with the uh, classic four link style with coilovers lift. And then you've got the any level lift one. So let me know down in the comments which one you prefer. But we're definitely going to be taking these two to a bunch of shows. And then I'm not sure what else. Definitely this one, our newest any level. And I'm sure there's probably one or two more we'll be taking. We got another any level over there. So now we got like three of them. The dang deer. They just do not leave. But now we officially have two tow rigs. And I think this is actually one of the cooler ones we built in a while. It looks amazing. Oh, crap. The guys forgot to powder coat the uh, lift arms there. Okay, we'll have to do that next week. And we didn't install a gooseneck hitch either. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to do a couple things. Not sure we're going to keep that front grill guard, but it does look pretty dang good on there, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we can't get better on the tow rig. We have the tow rig game down. Look at that. Maybe I'll have to add some purple accents to this thing. That might actually, that might look really good. I may have to try that. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.